Hello guys, Jagweer Singh back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will just continue with the previous series of plane making. So let's get started. So in previous video, as you guys saw that I made this particular profile using one profile and three guiding curves. In this video I'm going to show you how to make the same section with three profiles and even maybe two or three guiding curves depending on whatever is suitable for you so that you can have more options to choose from so let's see how it's going to work this is just giving you more and more options to try whatever you like so that you don't need to be restricted to just one way of doing things so that's why I'm just going to show you the way I would have done which is the another way of doing it so the first way I already showed you don't forget to see that video and now I'm just going to show you some other ways so because you, I, I'm just going to use the pre-existing wireframe that I already have and I'm just going to import and make sure that I have I'm just going to get rid of this line because I'm pretty sure that I don't need it I'm just going to stick with one guide curve and the other one is common so now what I can do is even I can just get rid of this as well I'm just going to use this and here what I'm thinking to do now I will have several points because I already know that this line is perfectly aligned with the top view of it I'm going to choose a point I will choose the plane and then whatever the section looks familiar to me so here I know that this could be one section so I'm just going to put choose this line right here as a point and click OK alright and similarly another point is going to be somewhere here on the same plane but somewhere here this looks better alright I have two points now then right here somewhere as well I'm going to do the same thing going to use I mean this is just for the verification purposes I just want to make sure that I have something to start with and end with so here I know that I, I already have an end point so I'm not going to make any new point so now what I have to do is I have to offset planes just like we did in last video okay reference is wrong I have to offset planes with reference to this point looks good and as here as well this plane to this point perfect so now I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to make a projection sketch positioning sketch projection point is going to be this one right here perfect so now I have two ways of doing it either I can make a new profile which should resemble the previous one or I can simply project the previous one and scale it to whatever requirement I want and how do I do it underneath here I have different features where I can use the scale feature as well uh, scale right here so before that I need to project the previous one I'm going to use project 3d elements I'm going to project both the lines together click OK so now that sketch has been projected here but you can see that this section is more narrower in comparison to the previous one so I need to adjust so that it starts from here and ends somewhere around the point that we made we just made those points just for the reference purpose at the bottom so that we know that where our profile should end so the same thing I'm going to do right now is going to select these two now I know that I should be ending somewhere here so the best way of doing is select both the points press scale and click on the origin where you want it to start and then scale it accordingly now alright scale click somewhere here then 
and whatever the scale is required or desired that you feel is good you can choose that let's see if I start from here what will happen okay okay if you're not sure how much is the scale that you would be looking for simply easier way of doing is you can just take the ratios so I know that my profile should start from here and end somewhere here uh, okay the distance came out to be 145.806 so let's say 146 all right and I'm going to measure this distance as well so it's 225.5 I would say so 146 I'm just going to do the calculation 146 divided by 225 let's say so it's 0 0.6488 or if I subtract from 1 with the normal scale it should be 0 0.355 so the scale is going to be 0 0.355 so basically 64 percent is what we are looking for the entire size to be compromised there so now we can have a look whichever number looks better we are going to use that select both of them press on scale I click here let's say now I know that this is one scale 0.55 is this much 0.3 is going to be way too small I'm pretty sure we don't want that small it's 0.66 was the number that we were looking for 0.648 so 0.65 I would say 0.65 somewhere here that looks good yeah this is the profile that we already got and now I can just zoom in and go inside them perfect similarly do the same thing with this wait a sec okay there we go go inside this with this go inside there you go perfect I can just make these lines as a construction element and then exit out of the sketch so right now you can see that it more or less perfectly aligns with the point that we were looking for so this is one way of making sketches and like just projecting them and using them according to the scale same thing we are going to do here projection sketch projection point right here I'm going to ex going to project those lines right there onto this and now going to see the difference between the scales from here to here 53 and from here to here okay from here to here okay 53 is from right there 146 okay 53 to where 146 is 0 0.36 that's what we are going to look for scale I'm just going to start from here and 0.36 this is what we are looking for make these two lines as construction element and right here just going to go inside them there we go similarly this goes as well go inside perfect nothing messed up looks pretty good everything is fine so now in last video we made the lines in this video what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you you can use the line feature itself and then simply join 
click one click and join all the points okay you have to do it one at a time just make sure that you select the top profile with the top profile every time and the bottom with the bottom otherwise it's going it's very easy to get messed up with this one so right here is the top one and make sure you don't do the mistake of joining the bottom point because it will show errors when you will use a multi section so top goes with top all the time similarly now for the bottom zoom in click on the bottom point and then click right here this is the point that you're going to look for click OK similarly zoom in this point and this point click OK perfect so now we can try multi-section and it's, it will work perfectly fine I have, we have multi-section right here this is the first profile this is the second profile this is the third profile guiding curves this curve this curve okay I need to join these first join this curve and this curve together similarly join this curve and this curve the bottom curve and the bottom curve together perfect now you can do the same thing second section third section right here this one this one and this one there we go perfect there we go we made this almost more or less the same results but in a second different way so now there you have many options to choose from so that I put in front of you so that it's easier for you to understand and make sense of whatever looks easier and familiar to you and at the end of the day because you will be getting the same results so it doesn't really matter which way you follow if your destination is the same so by saying that that's pretty much it for this video and do not forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching so take it easy take care share and subscribe bye